I picked this pack up not too long ago. It's pretty awesome. I think I put it through the ringer today to the point where I really couldn't put a whole lot more weight in it without hurting myself and the pack held. So Frost River, um, Isle Royale, it's the uh, Senior, I think is what they call it, the bigger one. Pretty awesome. I really love these straps. These straps are awesome. Uh, leather, canvas. There is nothing like the smell of leather and canvas. All right, let's do a little, quick little what's in my pack. All right, wool blanket, obviously. No explanation needed. Sometimes I bring a platypus full of water depending on what I'm doing. I plan on making coffee, so gotta have extra water. Um, food bag. Uh, I think we're doing pulled pork, beans. Got some bacon for the morning. Um, billy can. Oh, yep, that's what happens. Uh, solo stove. Gotta love those. I think that's a is it my used one or my brand new one? It's a brand new one. So, uh, or no. Sometimes I bring the solar pot, but I do like this billy can because of the, the ability to hang it. Just, you can get more of a well rounded heat instead of rotating. Um, this is more in case of emergencies cordage, water filter. A little dry towel. Uh, I keep one of these in my bug out bag as well. It's a good idea. Fill it full of stuff. Then you don't have empty space. All right. Next. Personal hygiene bag. Cheap brush. Some contact lenses. Uh, ibuprofen, Advil, whatever. You know. Let's see here. Camera stuff. Simple, just extra batteries. Um, I got a oh, one of these. I recommend these. I've had this for a few years now. An anchor um, power bank. Seems like 20,100 milliamps or something like that. But uh, I've gotten it wet, dropped it. It still works great. All right. And then, you know, obviously, headlamp. I've used this, I went through probably, I don't know, maybe five of these over the last like six years. I love them. Has the dimmer switch on them, which really comes in handy. My favorite thing is on, off, on, off. When I'm fishing, it gets really annoying to have to go through 10 settings or, you know, what have you. All right. Rain gear. Simple frog togs, $20, ultra light ones. I love this thing. It's like my night light. A little kid would have a night light. USO candle, or UCO, my bad. Yep, very cool, They're like 20 bucks. I need to figure out a better way to store it though. This bag is not the best. All right. Pillow, spice kit. I actually got this off Etsy not too long ago. It's pretty cool. It's better than having a bunch of little little jars rolling around in your pack. I think all of my packs have salt in the bottom of them. Um, just a little Nemo Philo. It's all right. Not the best, but I like it. All right. Let's see what else. Nemo sleeping bag. Um, I really like Nemo. I love Nemo stuff, but I uh, have really bad luck with their sleeping mats. I'll have to say they are the most comfortable sleeping mats I've used, but I think I've got four of them with holes in it. Um, so I went with the Sea to, sea to Summit. It's more of like a vinyl feel. So far, so good. It's got a double pocket or uh, two re air reservoirs or whatever, so you can kind of adjust it. But, yep. 
And this one, I really like this sleeping bag. It's pretty awesome. Probably the last time I'll get to use it. Uh, it's warming up, so I'll be switching to a different Nemo bag. All right, and then I keep everything in an old Army wet weather bag that I got. I mean, this thing's had this for, you know, 2003, 2004, something like that. Awesome as a bag liner, very rugged. This is just a little chain for the cook pot if I want to do a tripod. All right. You know, butt wipes. I don't probably have to explain this much. Pretty self-explanatory. Never go home without one. All right. I can never say the name of this thing. It's like Spa's shovel or something. So forgive me if I say it wrong, but from the Soviet Union, USSR, Russia, whatever the hell they were at the time. Supposedly this was made an era. It came covered in grease. You can kind of see some of it still down in there, but you can tell it's old, but it works pretty good. I like it. Better than those shitty ass e-tools. Um, I keep a little um, piece of a like I don't know what you call it, a yoga mat or something. And go back here for a little padding. And yeah, I'm doing the trash can thing until I figure something else out. I want to do some uh, a custom external frame on this eventually, but I'm still getting used to it. Um. You, you probably know what this is. This is my first time getting this out. Grancer's carving axe. Super awesome. Excited about this. I've been using a small forest axe. I think that's going to help. I brought a splitter to the... Uh, this trip I don't always but uh you know it's got the big ass wedge on it the wood out here is super hard to split so I also got some uh let's see right here brought a couple of these guys see how they work I've been making mine out of wood but hear that anyways I've been making one out of wood and they just get pulverized in this stuff it's so hard to split well set this to the side there's another one in there somewhere my tool kit <laughs> until I get better I'm always gonna be carrying cut gloves but Got some scotch eyes, cold pencils, hook knife, strop, some different blades to choose from. I'm still learning, so we'll see what happens. starting equipment some extra cordage fishing kit this is pretty cool a little camp chair set up a little get three stick it in these little flaps time around in the middle a little stool it's pretty cool <laughs> these are just like random I don't really need to open them all up but let me just kind of show you just little little knickknacks That one I put together recently. That's just some extra stuff. This one actually, this one I'll show you. Oh, see, this has got an extra striker, seam steel, toenail clippers, hot glue, thread, needles in the bottom, some key rings, some extra screws, just random repair stuff. You never know. 
doesn't weigh very much. It could be a game changer in first aid. All right, put that back in there. All right. Oh, on the side, just some quick stuff. I got Boreal 24. It's fairly new. My K bar, Baco Laplander, bottle of water, and then my my big ass heavy tarp. That's a pain in the butt. Over here, got my flint and steel, char cloth, ferro rod, thermometer. I don't normally carry this. This is just for the meat tonight. Tinder pouch, some steaks. I love this thing. I made this years ago. Still going strong. But, yep. All sorts of different fire starting stuff that I'm experimenting with. New products, whatever. But flint and steel is currently my thing I'm working on. I just made this char cloth. This is an old uh, flea collar pin. Let's see. Yeah. It's an old t shirt that I turned into rope and then I cooked it actually in that, that fire ring right there until it stopped smoking. It works pretty good. I'll give it a shot here in a little bit. But yeah, I think that's about it really. A little sharpening stone, just a spider co double-sided ceramic but yeah all right well and like i said sometimes sometimes when i come out here you know i'm doing different stuff so like today beverages are in there and then over here like i brought my cast iron for like bacon in the mornings or in the bacon in the morning. <laughs> uh, some hot dog buns and stuff. We're just trying to, yeah, little paper plate action. But, all right, well, hope that uh, you enjoyed that. Now I'm going to put all this stuff back together <laughs> and start setting up camp.